everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing a dehumidifier the Tosop company has sent me and boy, the only thing I can say so far, we've been running it since Thursday night, it's made a huge difference in my basement. This is a Tosap dehumidifier. This is a, a 50 pint in terms of capacity. I'm giving you uh, an idea of how big it is. Um, I'm gonna do a review on it. I just want to say this first that I really don't know much about dehumidifier. So I'm gonna give you just layman type information on it because I don't want to sound like an expert on the matter. All I can tell you is that it feels much different in here and the air is really, really nice. So, um, this is the dehumidifier. You see it's on wheels, which is really, really cool. And it has two ways of disposing of the water. Uh, the first one is um, the tray at the bottom. That's a receptacle where it will fill up with water and it actually tells you when it's full and it stops working at that point. So for people like me, who are driven to distraction and would probably forget <laughs> that this thing needs to be emptied. This is really, really cool that it stopped on its own, otherwise there would be water all over the basement again. Um, or you can use, and I'll show you the feature later on, you can use a side um, little panel here that has a hook for a hose. If you want to have a continuous drain, I would assume that's for really, really damp and humid uh, basements. So, before I give you all the specs and empty out the tank for this gizmo here, because I haven't emptied it since first day, quite frankly I haven't looked at it either, so I don't know how much water is in there. Um, I just want to give you an idea of what the basement was like before. Um, this is a basement in a very wet area. We are at a mid branch on a hill and we get a lot of water, a lot of water. The back of my yard cannot be used at all. When it rains, we have a river, literally, that flows in the back of the garage and throughout the entire yard. Um, so the backyard itself is very soggy. We do have a sump pump and you know from watching my videos that there is a trench all around the perimeter of the basement with whipping holes all around it where the water basically drains into the trench, goes to the sump pump and then the water is then ejected back into the street. This sump pump works pretty much 24 seven. There is a lot of water surrounding the house, a lot of water. And that is all year long, definitely around spring and fall. And I have to tell you, the summer was particularly wet. If you are in the North Jersey area, you know what I'm talking about. We got swamped, <laughs> I mean, really swamped. It ruined the vegetables. Um, it was really, really wet. So as a result, during the spring and the summer and a little bit of the fall, in this basement, there is a musty smell. It's not the smell of nasty mildew, but there is a musty smell. And I have a lot of books and I have electronics here and all of my quilting equipment is here as well. And the dampness of the basement makes the basement feel cold all the time, regardless of what season you're in, when you come down here, it's really not all that comfortable. So I have learned that if I had a dehumidifier, it would make the air in here and the overall level of comfort of the basement much more favorable to wanting to be here. And that is so true. It's amazing how removing the moisture from the air in the basement has actually made the overall feel of this basement much more comfortable. Amazing. I'm just, I have no clue that all it took was a dehumidifier. So let's look at this unit and then I'm going to show you the specs for it. And we're going to look at how much water 
I've picked up since Thursday night. So today is Sunday around 4 p.m. We have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it's uh, 72 hours worth of having the tea humidifier working. Okay, so this is the team humidifier again. It's on wheel. So basically, this is what I've learned about um, dehumidifiers from my little bit of browsing. And again, I'm giving you layman's terms, okay? Um, this is basically just like an air conditioning. Um, if you know when you have an air conditioning, the air gets sucked in, it then gets frozen and uh, on coils, and then it gets sent back to your house. But if you've noticed, if you have a portable air conditioners, that you window air conditioners like we do, after a couple of hours of use, the um, humidity in your house actually goes down because it takes the moisture out of the air. And that's why some of those window air conditioners at some point really get a lot of black mold in them and you should not um, you keep using them at that point. And um, you will see that this air ejected on the back that's hot air and then at the beginning of using your air conditioner you're going to see a lot of condensation and water dripping from it, right? This works pretty much the same way. The air comes in this way, it gets circulated and goes all around those coils and then the air is um, heated up and comes out this way. During that process, the moisture from the air is being uh, captured and goes into a tank that's at the bottom. So one of the things that I've noticed and kind of learned from using a dehumidifier is that it will actually raise the temperature in your room as a result of having hot air coming out of this. This is my thermostat and when I started the dehumidifier the room temperature was 65 and it's moved to 68 and I didn't do anything else I just left it <laughs> the way it was I didn't try to move it up or anything it actually raised the temperature in the room um, and I did not have it at all times right above the thermostat either I just want to say that so panels uh, there's an on off button right here this is the light for the filter. It will tell you whether or not the filter needs to be um, cleaned. And there's also a, a button here that will tell you that the unit is working nonstop. This is where you change your humidity level in the house, okay? So, or in your room. Um, so you go minus if you want it to be, um, you know, at 40 or if you wanted it at 50. Uh, technically 45 is where you want it. That's probably the best humidity level for your house. Mine is 40 right now, but I really, really wanted to suck the air. Then there's a fan speed right here. You can have it on low, high, and medium. Um, it's very quiet. It's not running right now because it's reached the um, level of humidity that I wanted. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get it to uh, work, but it's very, very quiet. Even at high, you barely hear it. So take my word for it. And then there's a timer here if you want to run it for a certain amount of hours. Um, it has an on-off switch that's automatic, meaning that once you've reached the level of humidity that you want, it will stop working and then it will start again and then it will stop and start again on its own automatically so you can basically leave the unit alone and not have to worry about turning it on or turning it off okay so this is like kind of like the suitcases that you get uh for traveling now where this thing is a 360 wheel which is really really good this is the compartment here in the back where you can put um the little hose um connection if you wanted to have um, your um, unit working on, with a hose to continuously uh, get the water out. And then right here is the tank. So I'm going to zoom on this because again, I have not looked at the tank yet in the last 72 hours. So we're gonna see how much water I got out. So let's pull this here. Okay, and yes, there is water. Okay, so don't mind my ugly bucket here. This is the one I used to bleed the pipes for the um, 
uh, furnace. So here is the amount of water I got in three days. Not bad. I had no idea I had that much moisture. Um, I don't know if you can see the water in there. I would say it's about a half a liter worth of water. So once you have this out, after 250 hours of uh, use, you will be told that you need to change the filter. So the filter is pretty easy to remove. Um, you just pull this like this, right? And you pass that under hot soapy water, you let it dry and you put it back in. So the idea here is that when you use a dehumidifier, let me put that back in, um, it does several things. It doesn't just remove moisture in the air. It will remove allergens, it will remove mold spores, it will remove mites and all sorts of um, allergens that are harmful to your health and to your breathing. So this unit, for the little bit that I've had it, um, for the three days that it's been running, I tell you, it's done an amazing job at making the air in this basement much more comfortable. And that makes me happy because my kids are here all the time playing video games and I'm here quilting as well. There's no more musty smell in here. It really took care of that. And the fact that it's gonna take care of any mold spore, allergens, mites, and all of this, that just makes me happy. And, and you know, to know that the air is safer down there. Now, this is not really the season for a dehumidifier. Most people actually do the opposite during the cold month there uh, because the furnace in my house is right here the air actually gets drier in your basements during the fall and the winter and some people when they have a furnace in the basement like i do actually do the opposite they actually use a humidifier in the basement to bring back some level of moisture because when the air is too dry it actually is not that great for your foundations, for wooden furniture that you have, or anything that you want to preserve in your home. Super dry air is not ideal. So this unit would probably be more optimal during the spring and summer month when it gets really heavy and damp in this basement. At some point during um, the next few weeks, What's going to happen is that Scott and I are going to move this unit to a bathroom on the third floor. Because if you know my channel, you know that my master bathroom does not have any ventilation. And I do have a problem with uh, humidity and the mold, you know, mold growing around the area of the tub, which I'm constantly cleaning. And it's a problem. So this is definitely something I would recommend if you have a bathroom that is like mine that has either no ventilation or very poor ventilation just to make the air more breathable and prevent mold from growing um, around your tub, on your tub surround and underneath the tiles because believe it or not that stuff will grow behind the walls inside the tiles it's unbelievable how your house can actually become um, unhealthy for you without you noticing it um, firsthand. So there's um, bad stuff lurking behind your walls without you knowing about it and you're still breathing it. So get a tea humidifier if you have that kind of issues like I do. I can only say this um, and I'll repeat myself. It's made a difference with the quality of the air in this basement and because it's also raised the temperature here just a reminder the floor is um i know it looks like it's finished but it's not these are just um rubber tiles that were put directly on the concrete so the floor is not insulated this basement always feels cold but now it's cold and dry it's not cold and damp and that makes a huge difference in the comfort level of the basement so that is my review um i wish i could make it sound but it's not gonna uh work because um the unit has sucked the humidity out of the uh, 
uh, basement so um but trust me it really doesn't make much noise it's basically the same noise that you would get from a fan it's energy efficient so you're not going to spend a lot of money running it it's definitely more efficient than an air conditioner like a window air conditioner in terms of the amount of electricity that you're going to use i've put all of the specs um on the screen already so you know that so yeah i'm happy with it i really am um, my basement is 700 square feet this unit is 50 pints and it's definitely enough for that size so i like it i'm very happy to start send me one boy i had no idea i needed one that bad i really didn't so i'm very happy about that so that's it that's my little review on the tosa uh, dehumidifier if you want to get you on or look at other models check down below i'll put the link and you can check them out i think this one is about 250 dollars uh, i think it's a very good investment if you want to purchase you want okay so give me a thumbs up if you like this review i'm sorry i couldn't give you a lot of you know technicalities on it because i really don't know much about dehumidifiers so i'm just giving you my experience with this one and how it's improved the overall comfort level of my basement thank you for watching you guys Bye.